What's up? It's Aki. Today, I am building a wind tunnel prototype with my 3D printer. I have always thought it's super cool to see how cars and planes move in the wind, especially the aerodynamic patterns. This is just the first version, but I'll be making more detailed ones soon, so stick around and let's check it out. What we have here is a mist maker. What it does is you plug it in and you drop this thing into a puddle of water and that's going to use this ultrasonic vibration to shake up the water and basically turn it into a mist or fog. I decided to go with the water vapor route because I want the smoke generating method to be non-invasive because I don't want to set off my smoke detector in my apartment. Next up, I have just a uh, ordinary clear rubber tube or piping and what this is going to do is going to draw all the mist or water wave vapor into the tube and then feed it to the testing chamber. I will have to play around with the uh, thickness as well as the diameter of the tube uh, to see how well this thing carries the, all the vapor inside. Alright next up, this is still in the package but it's basically a uh, fan that's powered, uh, you can directly connect it into a power outlet. As you can see right here, this is the power supply. And what's nice about it is that it's got a adjustable knob, making it essentially a variable controllable um, fan that we'll use to uh, draw the moisture across the chamber. So we have to play around with the velocity of the uh, fan speed. Next up, We've got the components that creates a laminar flow. I've seen others just use a bundle of straws and turn it into a block with tubes to straighten the air and reduce the turbulence. But since I've got the 3D printer, I want to print mine out. I will design it in Blender and then export the STL file to print. I will need to adjust the thickness of the block and the shape and sizes of the holes to get it just right. Next up, what we have is two big panels of just plexiglass. But yeah, as you can see, it's a transparent plexiglass underneath. Obviously, we're gonna use the plexiglass as a enclosure for a wind tunnel so we can see through what's going on inside. This is gonna be a little challenging for me because I know it's not that easy to cut and make straight edges with plexiglass. So I will have to really determine how big I want the enclosure to be and make sure that I cut it precisely to that dimension. We have our water mist right here, nice and thick. Um, right now it's very still because there's no um, source of you know, force to push it around. And then we have our testing chamber with our Lamborghini and a light source at the top for better visualization of the smoke and in the back we have a fan if I turn it on it's going to start drawing the air uh, across the test chamber and exit in the back there so to turn on the fan we have a control knob right here it's variable watch me turn this on look at that you can see the smoke or the vapor it's being drawn across the chamber over as well as underneath of the car model and then exit out in the back here. And watch what happens if we crank the fan up a little bit more. Wow. How cool is that? So our concept of this uh, design concept is definitely working, but there are a couple of things that we need to improve and design on. For one, uh, I'm going to paint the backdrop in black. That will show the smoke way much better than just a cardboard brown. And second, 
uh, we have to get this air through the feeding tube so we can control the direction of the the smoke coming out of it or the steam and that will require us to design and print some sort of laminar flow so the air will enter the chamber uh, very evenly instead of like violently but take a look at that it's looking great so far